Now, St. Swithin was born in the 9th century. But there's a bit of confusion around why he is just so important when it comes to weather law. Yes, yeah, so St. Swithin's story um, is that he was a very popular bishop. He was the Bishop of Winchester. And when he died in 862, he asked to be buried in the churchyard, not in the church, um, because he wanted to be where the rain could fall upon him. Uh, which is nice. Um, but uh, later on in the 900s, when he was canonized, when he was made a saint, um, they decided that it wasn't appropriate for him, for him to be in the churchyard anymore. He should be moved to a shrine within the church. Um, and legend has it that he was so unhappy about this that he caused 40 days of rain to occur uh, to basically make the point that he didn't want to be in the church. Um, he was moved anyway, it must be said. But <laughs> oh, That's wow. really interesting because actually it's, it's that weather law has lived and is alive today, and we do talk about St. Swithin's Day. Is there any rhyme or reason why it would be correct? Um, <laughs> essentially, no. <laughs> um, it has been looked into by our stats department here, by the NCIC team, and they've gone through many years and basically found that, no, there's nothing that says from, like, from the 15th of July you would get a period of weather. Obviously, the legend is that you'll get 40 days of whatever happens on the 15th, so 40 days of rain or 40 days of dry. It could be either, um, but they've not been able to find any evidence of that. Um, there's, of course, two stories of St. Swithin, for a start. You know, there's the one I said, which is the, the usual story. Um, and then there's another story um, where he is, if you want to move on one, um, oh, wow. where he's actually a monk um, on the River oh, Dee. Ah, okay. Um, he looks like he's had too much to drink. Exactly. Uh, that St. Swithin? That is St. Swithin in this story, um, who was particularly keen on his grog. Um, and during a, a drought, uh, the water ran out, so he couldn't make his grog, so he wasn't very happy. Uh, uh, he went okay. to the abbot and asked for some water from the abbot's precious fish pond, and the abbot said no. And uh, so St. Swithin was so unhappy with that that he, you know, caused a, what they call a magic, magic spell um, and then mm. obviously there were 40 days of rain, rain, great floods and the abbot got washed away so he got uh, his own back oh, and he got his grog. <laughs> but this is not really typical just for the UK, there are equivalents no. in Swithin's days across Europe as well. Yes, uh, what, one quite interesting, there's the abbot getting washed away. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah. The, the illustrations are about 100 years old and they're lovely. Yeah, they're uh, good aren't they? Um, but yes, there are, there are a number of what we call rainy saints um, obviously we've got St. Swithin, but 40 days of weather was associated with St. John the Baptist before it was associated with St. Swithin, so even that's not specific to St. Swithin. Um, then you've got St. Martin up in Scotland, there are two saints in, uh, in France, one in Belgium, two in Holland, one in Germany, They're all associated with periods of weather, and all their saints' days fall in July and uh, so June oh, and July, okay. that's really and it kind of implies that maybe there was a, they were recognising settled periods of weather because it's yeah. all to do with kind of yeah, periods of, of weather. Or people like. were obsessed with summer back then as much as, as absolutely, much as now. absolutely, they wanted to know yeah. The crucial for farming and harvest and that kind of thing as yeah, well. So that's yeah, why and, yeah. people want these long-term forecasts. Yeah. Back and now. many of the weather law things that you'd have noticed on that first image are yeah, about you know, getting a, a, a good harvest or the, or the hops, uh, getting a hop harvest and that kind of thing. Yeah, that's wow, really that's good. fascinating. It's amazing to see that the Met Office not only in, you know we forecast the weather. That's our main job, but we also look back. And actually, looking back is almost as complicated as forecasting the future. <laughs> Well. It's very complicated, yeah, yes. That's uh, but a lot of the data that we hold gets used in our models you know, and yes, actually of course, becomes yeah, part yeah, of, yeah. You know, of working yeah. on the future at the same time. Yeah. Yes, but we don't put the St. Swithin's doesn't go into our no. supercomputer. <laughs> no, no, that doesn't go in. No. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's really interesting. Catherine, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. much. Really appreciate it.